He has a better mustache than me. Even when I grow my mustache, it's not as robust. Chris Pratt is an incredible comedic actor. Ah! That hurt, right? Yes! Over the last few years, as he's done bigger action movies, people forget that he started on a television sitcom. Mamma mia! You're in a room with people, and you're building and collaborating. You're, you know, It's almost like playing music. Aaron and I, we like to get really obnoxious takes from actors. You know what? Make fun of me all you want. Not big enough. Bigger, bigger. Ah. Sometimes they're like, you're killing my, my voice. You're killing my voice. Had enough? Not even close. Chris is always like, I, I could do bigger. I could do 50 more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He had this endless enthusiasm and energy, and it was really important for him to, to get this character right because he understood how important it was to everybody. <laughs> Uh, 
We're still on for our tutoring session later, right? Oh. <laughs> Anything for my algebra? You do what now? I mean, bro. <laughs> algebra? Like, you're my brother. You're my math brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I like the first one better. <laughs> What should we name you? Maybe Leonardo. No, he'd grow up to be a turtle who only cares about pizza. I don't believe my eyes. Your name will be Pinocchio. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? I've got the whole world to see. You are too special, Pinocchio. The world is full of people who could harm you. The Timeless Story. Our last few shows barely had any audience. We just need to come up with a new act. Oh, come on! You thought you knew. The coach is headed for the cliff. She's gonna fall. Hold on. <laughs> Signorina Mario. Are you made of wood? You will become a star, my boy. Ladies and gentlemen, Pinocchio! It looks like our wooden Romeo is in love with Bella. Did you seriously think that you and Bella? <laughs> It's a fairy. Her name is Lucilda. I'm sure she could turn you into a real boy. Let's go, Timber. Great adventures away. Whoa. Take the adventure. I didn't want to see the world, but I realized she is the most beautiful thing the world has to offer. With no strings attached. Pinocchio is not just a pot. And he's a miracle. And miracles are priceless. That went straight over my tongue. Featuring the voices of Polly Shore. A man out of high quality material. John Heater. I promise to look after him at all times. And Tom Kenny. I just need you, Pinocchio. Whoa. Pinocchio, you'll be a star someday, no doubt. I don't need another human performer. I need a talking puppet. We'll put on a show that won't soon forget. Pinocchio. A true story. Gotcha. You've only seen my good side. But now, you'll see my bad uh, side. Uh, uh, Mamma mia. Right of the world. to my birthday party. What about Rapunzel? And don't tell me she's getting her hair done. No, nope. writing something called a book. Sleeping Beauty. Says she has insomnia. Princess Crew. That's a ship, sir. Princess Leia. She's a general. I demand glorious yes. <gasps> then may I suggest inviting this young lady. Finally, this horrible crown gets it. Once upon a time, there lived a princess named Snow White. But this fairy tale is about to get a whole new twist. Huh? My shoes! Get her! No! Uh oh, head down! We need to find the most beautiful woman to kiss us and reverse the curse. What was that? It's a witch. Let's catch her and make her break the spell. Once where I can see a witch. Grace Morris, Sam Claflin, Gina Gershon, and Patrick Warburton. I can't wait for you to see the real me. I like you, just as you want. This is the start of something so right. You have a thing on your cheek. Your true self, you're amazing on the outside and the inside. She's the fairest of them all. This is me. This is where you're
using it. I shall return on Tuesday. No, wait, let me check my calendar. Thursday. You've got to be kidding. Red shoes and the seven wars. <laughs>